if you really know how to make tables is the for example this is a table so first you have to see it in your database and then under database and tables uh, you will see dbo.student and dbo.guardian these are the tables that I built a while ago for tutorial purposes we will create a new table and then here so for the first column let's say we, we will need to have father's name let's say F name and what do you expect for a father's name? it should be character so we use N bar char so we will be more safe do we allow, allow nulls? no, absolutely no you can't have a father that has no name okay, uncheck it next one is the email let's name it F email expect to see n bar char so a uh, character so we use n bar char allow nulls uh, yes we can allow nulls and then another one let's use mobile number mobile you might say that we need some int or numbers for this but the user might type or might use dashes so it's again safe to say to use n part char n part char should we allow nulls? yes because some might not use mobile lastly f father's address so let's so name it f address and then it's the same thing it should be safe to n part char uh, we can't allow now, so we will uncheck it. One more thing that might sound important to you. This is for a while. Let's see relationship. It's already father. So, what, what more might we add? Uh, let's say landline number. Landline. So, you might say that we did. We might use int, but gonna use n for charger oh one more thing uh, is that for example birth date we have this special data type called date time so that it would recognize date and time ah sorry for the spell birth date and then how to save it Click the save table one, then rename it. Okay, father. There we go. That's it. We have our father database. So, ready to 100 rows. You might be able to see this. And then now you can start editing your father table contents of the father table. That's it. Thank you.